Hello everyone welcome back to Shaheed Comics. Christopher Nolan's Robert J. Oppenheimer biopic could be one of his greatest cinematic achievements yet. Here is everything we know about Oppenheimer. There are plenty of exciting Oppenheimer movie updates to share as Christopher Nolan's latest ambitious project draws closer to release. An Oppenheimer's newest trailer reveals more exciting details. Nolan has become a celebrated director with epic movies like Inception, Interstellar, and of course, the Dark Knight trilogy. Now Nolan is returning for his first project with Universal Pictures and a biographical look at one of the most controversial and interesting characters in American history, with an intriguing subject in Robert Oppenheimer, an A-list cast, and a visionary director at the helm. New Oppenheimer movie updates have been highly sought after since it was announced. Nolan's career began in 2000 with Memento after directing various short films, which established him as a filmmaker to watch. While his Dark Knight trilogy helped to push him to the mainstream, Nolan continued to make bold movies on a big scale, and Oppenheimer is his most ambitious movie yet. After dealing with historical events in his war movie Dunkirk, Oppenheimer is Nolan's first straight biographical movie, focusing on J. Robert Oppenheimer. Celian Murphy, often referred to as the father of the atomic bomb, since its announcement, exciting developments have been revealed, but there is still a lot of mystery surrounding the most anticipated movie of 2023. Now the film is in the stages of being heavily promoted, Oppenheimer movie updates are coming in quickly, as the most recent trailer has just been released, which massively expands on the only teaser trailer that was previously available. Oppenheimer's trailer showcases a massive cast, which includes Matt Damon, Emily Blunt, and Florence Pugh, just to name a few. The period drama was also showcased at CinemaCon, a convention for industry insiders. Oppenheimer's footage at CinemaCon depicted a much more Nolan-esque espionage approach to the source material, American Prometheus, than what the trailers have hinted at. Oppenheimer will be released on July 21, 2023 following its reported premiere at the 76th Cannes Film Festival. It was revealed that Oppenheimer was shot in IMAX and 65mm film and will be released in IMAX. Oppenheimer was confirmed to be the latest Christopher Nolan movie when it was first reported in January 2021. However, the new project also came with a good deal of drama as Nolan was reportedly upset with Warner Bros. for their decision to release all their 2021 titles on HBO Max alongside the theatrical releases via IndieWire. Sure enough, after a bidding war for the new project, Nolan decided to take his movie to Universal Studios. It was also reported that Nolan had some big demands for signing on with the new studio, including a 100-day theatrical window for the release, no universal releases within three weeks before and after the release, and a $100 million budget. Nolan was also reported to have created the explosions in Oppenheimer without G. The latest Oppenheimer movie updates come after the studio screened footage at CinemaCon. Universal Pictures not only showed some footage from the movie, but Nolan also appeared on stage to introduce the footage to the crowd. This footage highlighted the knowledge that Oppenheimer had that the atomic explosion was immensely powerful, and he went through with helping create it anyway. He also struggled with this, saying in the footage, I don't know if we can be trusted with the weapon, but I know the Nazis can't. According to Nolan in the introduction, the historical information about Oppenheimer and the atomic bomb lays the groundwork for what he turned into a pulse-pounding thriller, the footage also revealed that Oppenheimer might not be as famous as someone like Albert Einstein when it comes to the Manhattan Project, but was still one of the most important figures in its creation. The footage showed how hard it was for Oppenheimer to struggle with helping create this weapon, but it also showed why he did it in spite of that. As Nolan said, J. Robert Oppenheimer is the most important person who ever lived. Among the most exciting Oppenheimer movie updates are the casting reveals with Nolan bringing together a massive star-studded ensemble. The movie is led by Celian Murphy as J. Robert Oppenheimer, marking the actor's sixth movie with Nolan. Emily Blunt will also star as his wife, Catherine Oppenheimer. Other big names in the cast include Matt Damon as Leslie Groves and Robert Downey Jr. as Louis Strauss, his first movie role since the negatively received Doolittle, marking a more worthy follow-up to his time in the MCU. Other cast members in Oppenheimer include Florence Pugh as Oppenheimer's mistress, Jean Tidlock. Benny Safdie will play Edward Teller and Josh Hartnett as Ernest Lawrence, both physicists who worked alongside Oppenheimer on the Manhattan Project. President Harry S. Truman will be played by none other than Gary Oldman. The ensemble Oppenheimer cast is truly star-studded though, as it also includes Rami Malek, Casey Affleck, Dane DeHaan, 
Alden Ehrenreich, and Jack Quaint in various roles. Murphy and Nolan have had a great long-running relationship, even though Nolan repeatedly works with Michael Caine, Tom Hardy, and several others, Murphy has always been at Nolan's beck and call, and the actor is the first to admit it, Murphy explained while promoting Oppenheimer, I have always said publicly and privately, to Chris, that if I'm available and you want me to be in a movie, I'm there, I don't really care about the size of the part, however, Murphy has never gotten a lead role in a Nolan movie, only having cameos in the two Batman Begins follow-ups, and his roles in Inception and Dunkirk were tertiary characters. Though Murphy was fine with those roles, he admitted, deep down, secretly, I was desperate to play a lead for him, however, that will finally happen in Oppenheimer, and Murphy expressed how exciting it was when he found out about the role, recalling, he's so understated and self-deprecating and, in his very English manner, just said, listen, I've written this script, it's about Oppenheimer, I'd like you to be my Oppenheimer, it was a great day, Nolan should be equally appreciative, as the 2023 collaboration could be mutually beneficial, the two artists could pick up their very first Academy Awards, and they couldn't have done it without each other. Nolan's biographical drama will mainly be based on American Prometheus by Guy Bird and Martin J. Sherwin, widely considered to be one of the definitive biographies detailing the triumph and tragedy of Oppenheimer's life. J. Robert Oppenheimer was a theoretical physicist and the wartime head of the Los Alamos Laboratory, due to his role in the Manhattan Project, the World War II undertaking that developed the first nuclear weapons, He's credited as one of the fathers of the atomic bomb. However, Oppenheimer was not solely responsible, and based on Einstein's appearance in the trailer, the movie will likely delve into the other famous scientists involved with the bomb's creation. While history has largely painted Oppenheimer as the man who invented nuclear weapons, the movie could alter this perception, especially as Murphy's depiction of the physicist looks worn down and regretful, seen as a tragic figure in history. It was rumored that Oppenheimer was haunted until his death by the destruction his work had caused. Once the war was over, Oppenheimer lobbied for international control of nuclear power to avoid nuclear proliferation and a nuclear arms race with the Soviet Union. When Christopher Nolan appeared at CinemaCon, he showed footage of the movie and introduced it by saying, J. Robert Oppenheimer is the most important person who ever lived. Tons of Oppenheimer movie updates were revealed too such as the scientists' relationships with work colleagues and in his personal life. But what was most talked about was how Oppenheimer will be just as much of a spy thriller as a biographical drama. Oppenheimer will explore the physicist's ties to the Communist Party and the espionage and spying that he and the party were involved with. The first footage avoided getting into the story, instead focusing on the imagery of the explosion and quick glimpses at the movie. The footage also proved that, despite the all-star cast, Peaky Blinders Celia and Murphy would be front and center in Oppenheimer. However, Oppenheimer's final trailer gives an in-depth look at the whole cast, including Damon's depiction of a worrying lieutenant general, Blunt as Oppenheimer's concerned wife, Kitty, and Robert Downey Jr. as a stoic naval officer, among many others, between the looming destruction on a global level and the Oscar-caliber performances from everyone involved. The Oppenheimer trailer hints at Nolan's best and most emotional movie yet, and we're in the end of the video now in another awesome video I will meet you again bye guys have a good day.